Hi, Art Seekers. We're here in a super special space with a very special guest, the producer BDB at the LA Art Fair. Yeah, thanks so much for coming. How did you come up with your street name, the producer BDB? Well, it's a nickname that I received when I was younger. I had a neighbor who would just always be outside the window and just joke around about all the kids. And he gave us all these names. And my nickname was Big Daddy B. Uh, you know, I was skinny, short kid, but I just, you know, play hard. I just always had big aspirations. So he'd always be teasing me. He's like, I saw you up yesterday, Big Daddy B. You know, is it? So everybody just from the neighborhood started calling me that. You know, from the neighborhoods and the schoolmates and my yearbook. I mean, it just kind of stuck with me. So once I graduated, people were still calling me. And I'm like, come on, man, stop calling me that. Just shorten it, speedy B, keep it cool. And so that's that's how it started. And then the producer part came from uh, making music. Um, and then it became my handle on Instagram, and then it just kind of stuck. Yes, if I ever start working on the street, my name is going to be BML, mm -hmm. Big Mama Lizzie. Oh, I love that. What do you that. think about that? Oh, that's, that's, that's dope. So how did you begin your career as an artist? Well, I've been drawing my whole life. Um, I've always been creative. And it kind of was a uh, process. It was always the goal, you know. Well, I started off in the streets. Um, it was more meant for, you know, people to take pictures next to these, these characters in the street. Um, just, it was kind of like my play on, like, Instagram, you know, how we were all taking pictures in our fashion and we were, like, trying to look cool and stuff. So, it was just meant for the streets. Yeah, everything I did was illegal. Um, I always figured it was better to ask for forgiveness than permission, so I just did what I wanted. And I didn't get into any trouble, so what? But, um, because people liked it. I, I think if they didn't like it, then I probably would have gotten in trouble. And I started to just use um, icons, just because people are familiar with them, familiar faces, and then my signature style was just added, and I also wanted to make um, popular like, clothing uh, part of the part of the clothing package. So it all just came together. I love, as a, an art historian, that you seem to be really inspired by art history. You mentioned icons, but you do have a few very notable art history figures like Picasso and Warhol and Dali and Basquiat. How did you pick the figures that you represent? I love to read. I love to I love history. I just got really inspired by, by a lot of artists. So, so with the first people I did were all artists. I did Basquiat, uh, Keith Mary, and Warhol, which was my personal favorites, and also Picasso. So it all started off by people who inspired me. And I just wanted to, you know, I was just wondering, like, what would they be wearing if they were so alive to get today? And, and who's the okay, next person in our, our lives that's, that's going to leave a legacy? It's kind of, in my opinion, Fuller way for kids who don't know who you know these artists are to kind of discover them. I'm not really trying to send a message. I'm just trying to create um, imagination. You know, like really, I don't want to tell you this is what you should think. I just want you to have your own thoughts. Kind of be creative. Think, you know, kind of like question things. You know, not always an answer. Every time someone tells me about the work, it's something that I would never even think of. So just putting the conversation out there is is what I feel like I'm, I'm wanting to do. You know, I don't want to tell anybody which is rich, good, bad, either way. It's, it's as long as they feel something. I think street art is very special because at, at the end of the day, it's really for the people. You know, it's not like it's an advertisement. They're not trying to sell anything. Most of the time. Um, it's just really just a message you're putting out there or something you're putting out there for the people. And I also think that it's visual storytelling. Right. Exactly. That's what I, I try to do is, is kind of, you know, have these images and there's a lot of thought into it. And it could be a, a, you know, anything you choose, but if you look at it, it kind of, it, it's a mirror of our society. Yeah. Something that I really love about it and maybe this is exposing me as kind of nerdy, but I see them as paper dolls, these yeah. really fun dolls, you know, where you can get just one figure of Frida Kahlo and then you get to choose all sorts of fabulous outfits for her. Right. Yeah, I mean, definitely I wanted to be playful. I didn't want them to be too intimidating. You know, I want them to be something um, that everybody can enjoy. You mentioned having a musical background. Do you see music translated into your visual arts? Yeah, I do. Uh, I'm always inspired by music. Uh, I 
I listen to a lot of music. I do a lot of icons. People, my favorite musicians are Jimi Hendrix, you know, Bob Marley, Michael Jackson, uh, Elvis, you know, the Beatles, John Lennon. And uh, I feel like music is, is one of those arts where, you know, people have their own personal experiences with it too. So, you know, if I can give them a visual compliment, you know, that they put on the walls, I think it's great. Absolutely. But also, Music has swells and pulses, and we get a lot of that, especially in your canvas work, where you are able to really explore the background. And so I think that it is rhythmic. Yeah, you know, it's all a, it's a certain type of style, you know, it's all about how I'm feeling, you know, I feel off of the, the music. Have you had any scary run-ins working on the street? Not too much. Um, I'm from the streets, so I come from, you know, bad areas, so I'm not really scared that much. So I lived in Brazil, in the favela, for a while. and. And the main thing is you just gotta, you know, how to work back. <laughs> well, look at these cool kicks. If you have a collection like the one that you paint, then you can run as fast as you need to. Yes, shoes are important, especially <laughs> running shoes. <laughs>